Hello, murder friends. Today we're talking about book covers. Go get your coffee and come right back. Welcome back, murder friends. It's Sarah here. If you're new, I am a writer of mysteries, and that's what we're going to be talking a bit about today, mysteries and book covers. Okay, as a fledgling writer, <laughs> I was so excited just to be writing my books and formatting them and getting things going and knowing how to self-publish that I dove into cover creation with very little knowledge to go on. <laughs> You'll see in a minute. Um, I was smart enough without having ta uh, been taught through a lesson to look at other covers that I believed were in my genre and try to gauge what I think or thought the um, the average book in my genre would look like and where my book would fit. And so I went ahead and purchased this cover right here. I went to a place called Fiverr. Had it been recommended to me from a book and a uh, free webinar somewhere. And I found Angie and she was amazing. And these were my book covers. Every book cover had the honeypot on the front of it and some kind of reflection of the main storyline, whether it was Christmas, Main Street, farmer's markets, lavender fields, all those kind of things were in the background and they were beautiful. I loved them and I was so super proud of them. Until, <laughs> and I still think they're great covers, but until I started getting emails from people asking me, hey, this is the Honeypot Mystery Series. Where's the steam? And I was like, huh? <laughs> and so I would just, these emails were very kind. And so I would just email them back. I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, well, you have the Honeypot and the, um, I don't know what that's called, the honey pot, the honey ladle or whatever um, on it, but there's no steam in your books. And I was like, no, these are Christian suspense books. There's not going to be any steam in them. And I had a very kind hearted person reach out to me later and just tell me, if you're not going to put steam in your books, you might want to rethink the honey pot. Now, Honeypot is the name of the town my books are centered in, and that's why the series is named after them. And I've contemplated changing the series name many times because of that. However, I think the series name matches the series, so I'm going to keep it, but I got rid of the Honeypot. But by this time, I was about to release book six in my series, and I was tapped. I had no funds. So I had grown a little bit as a writer and had learned how to do other things like Canva. And so I made my own book covers for the next, um, yeah, for the six first books of the series, because I didn't have money to pay anybody, including Angie from Fiverr to go ahead and make new covers. She is completely, she's reasonable. She makes beautiful covers. I just not, I could not afford to pay for all six covers all at one time. One at a time is a little bit different than doing them multiple times. So I went ahead and created uh, these covers. All right. <laughs> Let me explain these covers to you. I had gone through a huge amount of battling about why my books weren't selling. What was I doing wrong? So I had paid people to come on and audit my sales page, audit my um, cover design, audit my book description and all that kind of stuff, my price points, all that, and try to tell me what I could do better. And they recommended, because my book was a cozy, though they didn't read my book, so they said my book was a cozy, that I go with an animate, uh, illustrated cover or an animated looking cover. And so I did. And I created these jewels of covers. Uh, which side? I can't ever tell which side. These, these jewels of covers. Anyway, they were, they had the lady on the front. They had, you know, whatever background I needed. They were different colors and they worked fairly well. In fact, I landed a really big book promotion deal with these covers, which is awesome since I made them, right? <sighs> However, I tanked after that promotion, tanked hard. There was no read through. I had all these people buying book one. There was no read through. So I went back and made sure the book was tight with edits. 
I made sure that I hadn't missed something or accidentally published something in my book that was a mistake or some file got mixed up or whatever. So I went back and looked at all of that and everything was the same. Everything was fine. And then that is when I started reading my reviews and realizing that my reviewers were telling me my books were a little bit too heavy for cozy mysteries and they were actually mystery suspense. Well, mystery suspense has different covers for their genre. It's not the same. There are some because I did my research, there are some that will still have the animated cover, the amateur sleuth ones, but those will tend to be a little bit more cozy or a little bit more paranormal than the ones that are Christian suspense. Christian suspense ones normally, if they're not cozy, have the main character on the front and some kind of gritty, scary background elements, and they have different colors. So again, I was six books deep, deep in this series, and I could not afford to recover all of my books all at one time. I looked at fabulous pre-made cover designers and they were amazing, but they were talking, you know, anywhere from 50 to $200, sometimes $300 for just the ebook. And even though I believed their artistry was worth the money, I could not afford that for one of my books, let alone six. So again, I was like, okay, I went back to Canva and I made a little bit more of a gritty Christian suspense cover. And that one is going to be here. Boop. <laughs> anyway, I made the, those covers and they weren't anything I was stellar proud of. Just like the other ones, they weren't anything I was stellar proud of. I was proud that I was able to make them glad I was able to make them. And my read through got better with the grittier covers telling me my reviewers and my instincts were right that this series was not cozy like I had intended it to be. It was something else completely and it needed different covers to show what the reader to could expect when they dove into my mysteries. So after making these covers, I was just like, okay, I just did everything I could for those. I started writing a new series, getting into new territory because I was convinced that my these this series was just not going to sell right now. And that was okay. I still loved it. I would still take care of it. I was still going to write some more of it later, but it was time to move on and try something different. So those covers, the second Canva ones that I made, stayed on my book for almost a year. And then I just got the itch again, like, why aren't they selling? Um, I know they're good. I love the people in them. Other people love the people in them. Why aren't these books selling? And I kept getting an advertisement in my um, inbox, which we are all want to do because, you know, if you serve, if you have an email account, there's going to be spam mail there. And after deleting a few of them, they started giving you little taglines like, oh, look how we create covers. So I'm like, okay, well, I need to learn how to create covers, right? Because I'm going to have to sustain myself. So I went over there and I was watching them make their covers. And I learned a little bit more about the company as best as I could. And their prices were incredible. I was like, are you are you serious? Okay, this can't be real. Somebody has to be getting hurt somewhere for these prices to be like they are. And I did as much research as I could, even though all my research was online. So how am I going to know for sure if it's telling the truth or not? I did the best I could. And after six months of debating with myself, I went ahead and took the jump and had them make my book cover for me. And this is it. All six of my books within three months were covered by Get Covers. And I love them. These covers have saved that book series. After having these covers for a good three months, I landed that huge book promotion one more time. And this had been two years after the other one that flopped with the blue covers. So I landed it again and it went crazy for me. It went wild for me and I'm still seeing the benefits of this huge run that I got from these covers because when readers dive into them, the book covers are reflective of the feelings they're going to have in them. They look mysterious. They're starring a lady, lady on the cover. 
but they don't look like they're going to be fluffy and feel good all the time because they're not fluffy and feel good all the time. They get into a little bit meatier subjects and they do have a little tiny dark streak in them, even though they're set in a cozy atmosphere with best friends solving crimes together and drinking coffee. That is the difference that a cover can make from this cover to this cover. See the difference? <laughs> One with the symbol that people were putting on to something else that it totally wasn't. And then the other, the blue one saying it was totally cozy and relaxed and there was no dark in it at all to these that tell you, hey, you're going to get involved in a mystery right now. It's going to be fun, but you don't know who's going to live at the end. That's the difference a cover can make. All the links to all of my cover designers besides me, because I don't design covers and now you know why, <laughs> will be in my description. And yes, there are affiliate links. I love Fiverr. I love Angie. She did amazing covers for me the first time. Just because I didn't know what I was doing doesn't mean she doesn't know what she's doing. She's amazing. Okay. Um, and then Get Covers. Get Covers has a link down there in my description and they will give you, if you use my link and the code by the link, they will give you 10% off your book cover. Okay. You are going to be floored by these prices. I guarantee it. And their service is amazing. Go check them out. They have saved this book series with their covers. All right. That's it for today. Catch you later, murder friends. Bye.